you say public art, you're saying art that is public and accessible and available to everyone. And that's what these murals are. So I think we've both always enjoyed the fact that the that this art that we create in particular together is accessible to literally anyone who goes outside. They can uh, see it, appreciate it, and uh, discuss it with their neighbors and hopefully at the end of the day take something away from it. Graham and Jeff have tapped into art in a format that is ultra accessible. We wanted to start a series actually uh, after this one of our clients was inspired to do this particular inspiration for him for Tom Waits that was in the Paris, Kentucky area. So uh, that sort of encouraged us to sort of push in a direction of doing other inspiring figures we thought maybe for other clients down the way. This whole series has evolved as part of the central Kentucky community in various towns that we've painted in with the community members actually choosing the subject matter. I don't think there's been a single one where we actually decided who it was we were going to paint. These murals and this artwork that is out there is very message centric. It, th these artists tell us uh, what is important in our community. This, the, the history, the values, the culture. Um, they're simply asking you to think about those concepts. Think about where this historical figure came from. I don't think I look at us as being teachers or anything, but there's there's definitely a lot of history um, and a lot of interesting things to learn about and from some of these subjects that we've painted. They pick these subjects, these pilot, African-American pilot, a singer, uh, African-American activist and boxer in our community and in our history to show young people in our community that those objectives can be met as well. We have an ongoing series we've been working on for about five years that's become known as the Inspiration Series that includes uh, portraits of individual people. The murals that we see being created and uh, defining this community are very important because of that diversity. The diversity of race, gender, industry, uh, historical references, all of those things, of course, is what makes Lexington such a wonderfully vibrant and diverse community. The Frank D. Walker mural came to us uh, by the city of Richmond where they were interested in actually promoting a little bit more of a mural series of sort basically throughout the town. So they were excited about promoting a little bit more mural projects and such for it, and they wanted to do something that would probably commemorate the local uh, veterans and also minorities and, and, and people just for the community, basically. So uh, we were privileged to have the space on the side of the library there where they offered it to us. I think it is really cool that, uh, that it could spark interest in, you know, not only the actual piece of art that we're creating you know, for the public, but also with this series, the art that was created by the subject. The Will of Beatrice Brown mural came to us as an option from a client who was uh, redeveloping actually a, a housing community in, in that 7th Street area, and they were interested in actually paying some homage to maybe somebody who came, had either family member or was near from that area as well during the time, and uh, Will Beatrice Brown was a fitting character because we wanted to get in a nice diversity still, and not just the veterans also, but then also the celebrate uh, minorities, but then also females we thought was important. Many of the subjects in this series have ended up actually being from Kentucky or at least in some way related to the area, and we don't really think that's a coincidence. We work directly with our community in choosing a lot of this subject matter, and they are requesting people that they feel like are important uh, to the town or the neighborhood or city that they are currently involved with. When we can all look at a piece of art and say, it moves me in some way, and the next person to you, it moves them in some way. You're, you're, co you're finding some common ground, even in that piece of art.
Hey everybody, I'm Chip Polston and I am cherishing this Kentucky life. And if you enjoyed that story and would like to see more, click right here to see more.